I'm here with Dan and Kim from Halo Neuroscience, and I'm wearing the Halo Sport, which is running a little electrical current through my brain to help me acquire new skills faster. And Kim is teaching me ladder training, and as a non-professional athlete, barely an athlete at all, <laughs> this is a new skill for me. So I'm looking to get new skills faster by using electricity to enhance the speed of learning. This is technology that's been used by the military, professional sports training organizations, even a lot of professional gamers. Now, if you're listening to this going, why should I care? Because you're not a professional speed ladderer, unlike my new career. Here's why. Skill acquisition is something you do every day of your life. And it can be in sports, it can be in anything you do, whether you're studying, whether you want, it's, it's music, whether you want to dance, whatever, whatever you're doing, this is part of being a human. But it takes a while to build muscle memory, and I can build it faster with electricity. So watch me learn drills I know nothing about. We've got something hard for Dave on purpose. He's never tried this before. It's called the speed ladder. Basically, athletes use this to improve their footwork, challenge their balance, and challenge their coordination. And it really helps to activate people's mind-body connection because whatever's going on up here is going to get this, get this going. What we want you to do, Dave, is just try it with neurostimulation. I know this isn't going to be a, like data-driven or highly oh, sure. scientific, but let's just see if we can get you going on this faster than you would have expected. This is definitely a good neuro challenge for me. You just want to have a slight bend in your legs while you're doing okay. it, and two feet go in, and then two feet go out. In, in, out, out, and I'm coming in and out. Well, it doesn't look easy. In, in, yep. out, out, Perfect. In, in. Oh, that's yeah, easier. Yeah, there you go. The idea is if I do this with the electrical current, that my ability to lay down those nerves and just to learn that will be faster, and that's, that's right. really well established in the science. Show me one more that's even harder. All right. So this one is called the icky shuffle, and it's a basic move that everyone learns. So it's going to go in, in, out, in, in, out. When everything's fluid, mm -hmm. this is when you're not like overthinking it. You okay. just kind of like let yourself yeah. just yeah, go. Yeah, that's with it. muscle memory. That's what we're trying to build here, so that yeah, you, got it. you don't have to think about it. Right? Right. It just happens. Hey, Steve. Oh, heck yeah. I felt pretty you good. You did really good. One. Show me something new. In, in, out. In, in, out. Okay, so you go back when you come out. Mm -hmm. All right, I think I got that. There you go. Yeah, you got hey. that. Hey. Wow. Hey. <laughs> I've never done that before. Well, you just it's did working. it. You just did it. It was awesome. So how did it go? I, it, it felt pretty difficult at the beginning because, I mean, we're talking about, like, cross-patterning, moving back and forth, yeah. and it just wasn't a, a normal movement for me. Yeah. Uh, but as I did it just for a little while, then the harder moves and going backwards and lifting one foot and all that, that actually felt a lot easier than I would have expected. We've been wired since we evolved billions of years ago to continuously acquire new skills. What if we could do it faster? That's a big question in my life. And I can tell you flat out, I ran electrical current over my brain while I was writing every one of the books I've written because it works.